What's going on guys? Welcome back to 3D Print Farm. Today we're going to talk about how to change out your FEP. Hey, that was pretty good. Guys, welcome back to 3D Print Farm. Today we're going to talk about how to change out your FEP on your Anycubic Photon. Now, this is not a new VAT. This is my old VAT, and you can see it's a little cloudy. There's really nothing wrong with this because I've printed literally dozens, maybe hundreds, maybe, of prints on this, and I haven't had any issues with it. But the other day when I was removing a print, I kind of dinked it a little bit with a scraper. And I kind of poked a hole, not really a hole, but just kind of a little dent in it. And that kind of spooked me because, you know, you're, you're pretty much hoping that this thin piece of plastic is going to protect your LCD screen from leakage. And you don't want that. So, better safe than sorry. You're going to need your Anycubic Photon Vat. This is a bottle cap from a bottle of Gatorade. You need one of these. You need a sharp instrument. The next thing you're going to need is either a razor knife or a scalpel. I am choosing a scalpel. And you're also going to need a little Allen wrench to remove all of the bolts around the edge of the vat. Last but not least, you're going to need a pair of these. A pair of gloves. Oh, not even last but not least, you're going to need some paper towels. You're also going to need some alcohol or my favorite, Sprayway Glass Cleaner. Because what's going to happen is you're going to see some resin that is trapped between these frames in here. And you want to make sure your hands are protected and also your eyes are protected. You almost got me there, didn't you? I need my... I need my... Uh, yeah, that's what I need. I need my goggles. Safety glasses first, you know what I mean? So, yes sir, we got our safety glasses on. And again, better safe than sorry. So you need some rubber gloves. I'm gonna change the camera angle on this and we're gonna get started removing the FEP. So step one, remove the FEP. Oh, another thing you're gonna need is FEP. When you purchase your Anycubic Photon, they actually included a single sheet of FEP. So when you get your photon, don't throw this away. This is not like an advertisement. This is actually a sheet of FEP. So this is in your box with your cubic photon. I'm actually gonna try something new today. I purchased some FEP off of Amazon and they were, let's see, what is this? this is a four pack. This is from the 3D Club. The 3D Club and this is 100 micron or 0.1 millimeter thick FEP. So we're going to give that a shot. The cool thing about this is there are four sheets, but they're eight and a half by 11. So what I did is I took my wife's handy dandy cutter, don't tell her that I borrowed it, and I cut the sheets in half, like so. So I can actually get two, two, two for the price of one. So I'm going to use one of these sheets on my vat. So let's get started. First thing you're going to want to do, again, Put on your gloves. Safety glasses. And you need your Anycubic Photon VAT. And your old FIP. First thing we're going to do is remove the three, six, seven, eight screws on top. These screws are basically part of the tensioning ring. So there's a couple pieces here. This first outer ring here is a tensioning ring almost like a snare drum from a drum set so these these bolts actually will tension the FEP and it needs to be tuned to a particular tone and we're going to talk about that a little bit later in the video so what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove these screws Okay, now, see, we have removed 
be fab. And look, I've got all these little bitty screws. Look at this. There's lots of play in there. See this? Lots of play in the fab. That's where this is going to come in. Because if you don't use this off the bat, you're not going to have enough tension on this and uh, no good. I don't know if you can see this really well, but there's like little droplets of resin all the way around here. So don't do this without any gloves because you're going to get resin on you. So anyway, remember this side here, the ones with the eight holes, is your tensioning bracket. The one over here with the 10,000 bolts is the bracket that holds in your FEP. So we're going to take this dude off next. Let me move my vat out of the way. Okay. Need you a piece of paper towel. So I'm going to carefully remove the ring. Place this here. Carefully remove the FEP. You can see there's little droplets of resin all around. So we will properly dispose, we will properly dispose of this here. So now what we need to do is we need to clean this. <clears throat> need to take a paper towel, take a little bit of my spray away glass cleaner. The foaming, foaming action and I'm going to clean the resin. If you don't have sprayway glass cleaner, that's fine. Just use some alcohol. You get the idea. So, one thing to be, one thing to keep in mind is you have this. Remember, is the tensioner. The tensioner has the eight larger bolts that go in here. This is the actual frame with the lots of little bolts that hold on the FEP. So, there are two sides though. You can see where this, this, this these are both facing up. There are some um, holes that allow for the screw head to fit into. So you can see that here. They're recessed. Make sure that one's on top. The bottom's this one's the bottom, no recessed holes, recessed holes on top. Same way with the tensioning, same way with the tensioning uh, frame. Recessed holes on top, none on the bottom. Okay. Now, I am going to, a little bit of spray away, and I'm going to clean the inside of the vat because there's lots of little residue resins that's on the inside of the vat here. So I'm going to clean that really good. Make sure that is all nice and clean because I'm going to be getting to that in just a moment. All right, I'm going to set that aside. Now, I'm going to get my going to get this guy right here which is the bottom frame so I'm going to take this guy which is the tensioner I'm going to turn it upside down like so then I'm going to take my Gatorade bottle cap, place it here, thusly, and I'm going to place my plastic over the top, like this. Make sure it's all nice and even. Then I'm going to take my frame that has all the holes and make sure that the um, holes with the um, indentations are on the top. I'm going to place it on top like so, so I want to make sure that there's 
this cap here is very important because what you're aiming for is to get have some tension or have little tension in here so you want some play you want some play in the fab so I'm gonna make sure this is all lined up here um, pardon me I'm standing up I'm gonna look and make sure everything is lined up nice and neat now this is the the part where you need the the item that has the sharp point so what I'm going to do is I'm gonna start on one corner kind of like um, Kind of like you're putting a tire on a car where you don't you don't start with one bolt on one side and go all the way around you you tighten one bolt on one side and then you go on to the opposite side and tighten the other bolt so we're going to do the same here so what i'm going to do is i'm going to poke a hole right here like so while i'm holding tension onto the frame as you notice i took my gloves off uh after the resin is completely cleaned off of this you really don't need to use your gloves because your your frame is clean everything is everything is clean so I'm gonna use my hands because I have a little bit more dexterity without using the gloves so I'm going to continue this I inserted this screw gotcha all right so now we have the FEP installed I see there's lots of lots of play that's what you want next thing you want to do take the frame Lay it down inside the frame like so. Press it down, push it down like this. Make sure the holes with the bevels are pointed up. And this is where I was talking about, what is, this is your tightening frame. So this, this FEP will start to tighten up. We have one screw here. So what you're gonna have to do is go the opposite side. Press that down. Make sure to poke a hole in, load the screw in thusly, and what you're going to do is you're going to, you're going to put these in, you're going to start them, and, but you're not, going to, you're not going to tighten them down all the way, because if you tighten them down all the way, you're going to stretch this drum. Um, I'm going to stretch the FEP. I call it a drum, but it's similar to stretching a drum. You're going to stretch it until the FEP breaks, and you don't want that. So I've got one here, one here. So I'm going to go over here, poke a hole here. I'm going to run and then go do this one. Okay. You hear that? You see how the pitch has increased? So, you want to use an app called Spectrum. It's an audio. There it is. It's an audio analyzer. And what that does is it analyzes sound in kilohertz. So, what you're shooting for is anywhere between 275 and 350 hertz. So, when I'm starting, I'm starting my Spectrum app. And now I'm going to lightly, I'm not going to hit it with anything sharp because I could end up, um, I'm not going to hit it with anything sharp because I could end up puncturing the FEP and I do not want to do that. So again, it's called Spectrum. It's in the App Store, uh, the Apple App Store. I'm going to take the other side of my scalpel, which is just basically a plastic uh, little piece of plastic. I'm just barely going to tap it here. All right, I'm at 235 hertz, so I'm still a little too loose. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to go again, and I'm going to start around the the edges again. I'm going to go just about I don't know a quarter of a turn or so on each side there we go 333 Hertz so 333 Hertz three so now you've got all this extra all this extra f f flap right here so you, what you want to do is take your 
scalpel or um, your razor knife, make sure and use a sharp blade, don't use a dull one. And what you'll want to do is come be careful and don't slip. Voila! There you go. You're perfectly tuned FEP. Again, using the 100 micron, using the 100 micron um, FEP from Amazon, comes in a four pack. You cut them in half, you magically get eight, just like that. So you've got an, you've got enough. So. Um, I've heard that the 100 micron, again, it is a little bit, it's a little bit thinner than your, um, than the standard Inicubic. I believe the Inicubic is uh, listed at 0.15 to 0.2, so it, it's it, 0.15 to 0.2 millimeters, so it's going to be a little bit thicker. Uh, I have read that you get better clarity with uh, with the thinner FEP, but Again, you have to be really careful with it, especially when you're cleaning prints. You want to make sure that your your build plate is flat and it's tuned, because if not, uh, and stuff sticks to this, and you start removing it, you're gonna you might have issues. But uh, just remember, anytime you change out the FEP, you need to flatten and relevel your build plate. Anyway, guys, thanks for joining us again on 3D Print Farm. I hope to see you again soon. I hope you enjoyed this little video on how to change out your FEP and how to tune your FEP. It's not only changing your FEP, but tuning your FEP. You must tune your FEP. And you don't have to change it out to tune it. If you're getting kind of weird prints and you suspect it's the FEP that's causing it, download a free app and you need a, a one that measures kilohertz. Download the free app. I happen to use this, this uh, uh, Spectrum Analyzer on the uh, at the App Store for the iPhone. Use that; it's free, and it'll tell you that uh, tell you where your FEP's at, and you can actually just kind of tune it yourself. So just don't overtune, don't overtune it because you can jack it up and crack it. So anyway, if you like what you're seeing here, I appreciate you clicking the like and subscribe button, and uh, we'll have good stuff coming down the road for you again. So. We'll see you next time again on 3D Print Farm. Bye now. We're going to talk about how to change out your. We're going to. We're to do to change out the fat. Change out the fat. Change out the fat.